Hey everyone, this is Rex and Chloe here. Gonna be bringing you the third IS Boxer tutorial. Gonna be going over a healing click bar so that way you can heal your characters or your group from your main character without having to switch over to your healer. I'm going to be making another video after this going about how to do a Mez click bar and also how to do a casting click bar. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below so you can get notified when those videos go live. Hope you have a great day. So I'm here in the IS Boxer toolkit and in order to get started with the click bar you first need to on the upper left window right click on the click bar and choose new click bar. It will allow you to rename it. I'm just going to rename mine something simple like healing bar. And then you're going to use the plus and minuses to show the character set name and your characters. Under the character set here on the bottom left window, just click and drag the name of your character set and put it there. And then you will need to click and drag all six of your characters down into the character section of the click bar that's just that way you can click it from any of the characters that you're on it doesn't mean that they're going to be the ones doing the casting once that is done and you are here where you've already got all your characters and the character set moved down to the correct spot on the click bar you will need to then scroll down to action target group you need to create a new action target group and i'm going to be just naming mine healing and this is the important part. This lets IS Boxer know which character is going to be casting for this click bar. So you need to click and drag the name of your healer into the character section of the action target group. The reason I said to do the action target group before finishing the click bar is because it is important and it is easy to forget. The hotkeys that we're going to be making in just a minute will not work without the action target group being created. So I wanted to get that done as soon as we got the main part of the healing click bar done. But now we can go back and finish the look of the click bar with the buttons. Right now you have a choice of grid rows and columns at one by one at the top of the window and cell width and height at 32 by 32 and just below that. Since I'm going to be six boxing, I'm going to be making it at six rows. So if you are going to be using less or more just make as many rows as you need for your particular team and then the next part here for the width this is personal preference you don't have to change the width if you do not want to but i like it to be 172 just to have it be nice and big and easier to click and don't worry if it looks like this right now all you have to do is save click on the click bar and then go back to the healing bar and you can see it looks back to normal. So now that we're here, there are going to be things that we're going to have to do for the buttons, but we are not going to be doing them right now because we need to make the hotkeys first. So go up to your key maps, right click and create a new key map. I'm just going to call this the healing key map and then you can click on that and you don't have to move any characters or character sets to it. Just right click on map key and then choose new map key. And then I'm going to name this. This is future Tim uh, talking. I actually changed my mind after a little bit of testing. It is a good idea to go ahead and put your character set and the name of your healer here under characters. Healing one. I'm not going to change the hockey over here on the right. I am going to change the execute a step when the hockey is pressed. That is, again, a personal preference, but it seems to work much better that way. And then I'm going to go down to one underneath steps and right click on action, choose keystroke actions, and then variable keystroke action. So now that you see that it says here no key and then an arrow to self, you need to change the target here to group all of healing which is the name of the action target group that you made. And then for the variable keystroke, you're going to choose target slot one. And then you're going to be repeating this. Just I'm going to be making healing two, healing three, all the way to healing six, doing the same thing. That is just going to let me be able to make a hockey that will target 
the member in that particular group. And if you're worried because the name doesn't change right away, all you have to do is click on another part of the window and the name under here one will change as so will the name right next to the number one here on the left window. The easiest way to do this quickly is just to go to one of the ones you already completed, click on make copy with once you right click and then you can rename it here to for instance healing three and then just click on the plus sign, click on the step here and then change the target to whatever target slot you need in this case it's, for me it's going to be target slot three okay as you can see i am completed with making all six of the map keys one thing i should explain and it is important is that these hotkeys aren't for actual healing from your healer this is something that you will use on the click bar in order to do a mouse over so that way you can actually target any character that you want. But I'm going to show you how to make the actual healing hotkey right now. Just have to right click on new map key again. And I'm going to cast this one quick heal. And then here you go to step one. And again under keystroke actions you're going to choose variable keystroke action. You're going to click on number one and you are going to choose to right click and then choose keystroke actions and keystroke action itself. You're going to make the target of group all of healing which is again your action target group. And then here you're going to click this arrow where it says key combination and that lets you do your key combination for casting the spell. This is going to be the spell hotkey that you have set up in game so in my case i know that i always have my best remedy for my cleric as alt numpad one in game so that is what i have set for the keypad there and then i just have to in order to see the change i just click on another part of the window to have it refresh for the next hockey i'm going to be making the group healed one so again going to be choosing new map key this one i'm going to just name group heal if i can spell correctly and then go back to under steps click on the one right click on action keystroke action and then again keystroke action target's going to be group all love healing or whatever the name of the action target group that you made and again the key combination here is going to be whatever on your healer you have for your group heal i always keep my spells in the same spot so that's why i can confidently know what hockey to do because i always keep my remedy the best one in slot one and i always keep my group heal in slot 10 of my healer so i'm just going to go ahead and hit alt zero because that is the hotkey in game for my group heal and then i'm going to go ahead and click to another section just so i can make sure that it looks correct and then i'm going to go ahead and save and now i'm going to make two more hotkeys and it's going to be one at a time though these are going to be hotkeys that are going to both bring up the healing click bar and also hide it again so in order to start with that again you will need to do a new map key this is going to be one where i am going to have a hotkey here at the top so you will need to click on this arrow and then i am going to choose from mine control alt and f10 just because i know that those that key combination is not one i'm going to hit on accident it has to be one that i hit on purpose and again i'm going to change the execute when the hotkey is pressed you will need to right click on the action and then choose here click bar actions and choose click bar state action and then the window is going to be all with current choose the name of your click bar in my case it's going to be healing bar and then you should be default to on and then going to go ahead and save and go on to the next step the next step after that is you need to right click on the action again and choose click bar actions and this time choose click bar button action you'll need to change the target to window all with current 
the name of the click bar is going to be in this case healing bar and then under the button just choose the first slot then you'll need to check on where to the left where it says text and this is where you'll put each slot number you have to do this exactly in order for the name of your character to show up correctly so you need to hit the brackets that's the brackets that are just above and to the left of your enter key on your main keyboard so you need to hit the left one first then capital slot one that's again capital slot s as in sam l as in lima o as in oscar t as in tango one with no space between the t and the one and then you close the bracket and then you can see that it changes to change button one one and healing bar click bar to all and that's what it is supposed to say and then you can just copy and make a new one uh, for the next so you'll need one for each character and again the easiest way to do that is just to right click and choose copy action to clipboard then right click on actions again and choose paste action from clipboard then you can click on the one that was just created and then that way all you have to do is change the button number and then just click on the text and change that to the correct number here so as you can see i just completed making all six so now this will allow us to turn the click bar on by pushing the whatever hotkey that you selected here and now we need a way to turn it off so we need to right click on the step and choose new step now this step is going to be pretty easy there's only going to be one part to it so you just have to right click on actions under when you click on number two you're going to choose click bar actions and click bar state action you're going to choose the target to window all with current you're going to choose the click bar here and then set it to off instead of on and then now we can actually go to the click bar and set up the hotkeys for the click bar itself so now we're going to be able to set up the casting for the click bar buttons itself so just go to the button part of your click bar and then select the first button here where it says button one comma one and you don't need to change the name of the button here under text you will need to change that to the same thing that you did before for the slot so it's going to be the weird shape bracket to the top left of the enter key on your keyboard the one with the kind of squiggly line like, like that's uh just if you hit shift and the regular bracket key it gives you the squiggly line bracket so that's the one you need and then you need to type capitalize slot one again that is s is in sam l is in lima o is in oscar t is in tango one with no spaces then you need to close the bracket basically well you can change the color if you want to i can't say you need to it's a personal preference i like changing the color of it in game so that way i can read it much easier so i change it to a blue color personally and now once you have that done you need to left click on the button again that will bring up this key map here uh, it's going to say Control alt shift with some boxes they're going to be unchecked you leave them unchecked you'll see here it says left click you're going to go ahead and leave that as is also just below that you're going to see do no map key and no key map self there's going to be an arrow to the far right you're going to go ahead and select that you're going to go ahead and leave the target as window current you're going to choose your key map as the healing key map and then your map key since this left click is going to be for our quick heal remedies we're going to go ahead and choose quick heal and then below that you can see here under mouse over you can choose window current key map healing and then map key healing one so that will allow you to mouse over and target that particular character and then after that you right click and that brings up another map key and then you do the same thing you leave it as right click go to the bottom right arrow keep the target as window current key map is going to be healing 
and the map key for this is going to be group heal. And then after that, you can save, and you'll need to do the same thing for the other six, or in my case, five slots. As you can see, I have now completed all six. Uh, do be patient, this will take you a few minutes. And I just wanted to clarify the reason that the name of the slot is important is because it will replace the name of slot 1 through slot 6 with the name of the actual characters in that slot according to how you set up IS Boxer. So that's why that's important. I have the quick heal set up for left click, a group heal for the right click, and don't forget down here to always do the mouse over. And that's why I set up the healing 1 through 6 that don't do any casting itself, but it allows you to target each slot just by mousing over the click bar in game. So that is why that is important, and I have that set up for all six slots. And now I will show you in game just how it works. And this is important do not forget to save and export to inner space i have made that mistake before so now i'm here in everquest and as you can see the click bar when you first log in is going to show up here in the top left in order to make that go away when you first are logging in just hit the hotkey i had you make to show and hide the hotkey in my case alt control f10 and then in order to move that you just go to the GUI for IS Boxer, and you can choose Click Bar. You can do Show All, and then you can move it to any place that you want it to be. As you can see, I still have my viewer and sources here, and then you click and save that as Auto, and then you can go ahead and get rid of that, and then. You can see that right now all my characters are targeting me, but in order to show how well this will work, I'm going to go ahead and go to my cleric and have my cleric target just my druid for right now. So you can see here right now my cleric is targeting my druid, and with the mouse over, you can see that her target changes to any of the characters and then i can right click to have her cast a heal on me which will be the remedy and then you can even see when her spell gems are back up and then to test the right click i'm going to make sure that the group heal works so you can see that she cast devout remedy and then word of recovery so the click bar works perfectly if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching everyone. Me and Chloe both appreciate it. And again, if you did like the video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It would help both me and Chloe out greatly. Have a great day and be safe.